Yeah, I just want to give a little message to Donald Trump and the NFL about this standing for the national anthem thing from my first period high school teacher. And no, it's not a racial bias thing because my first uh, period of high school teacher was a white woman. And here's how she explained it to me. You know, by my senior year in high school, I was already what's considered a little radical-minded, militant-minded because of a lot of things that I had to endure as far as being harassed by the police, being followed in malls by security, and all that stuff that goes along with being a young black male in America. So uh, I guess she could sense that a lot of us, you know, we had written this, the Rodney King situation. We had gone through our own little situations. And uh, I guess she could sense that we had a little attitude about standing up in the morning for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem and all that. Here's how she explained it to us. She said, it's your constitutional right to not stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the National Anthem because this is a free country. It is just much your constitutional right not to stand for it as it is your right to stand for it. This is a white woman that explained it to this. So don't look at this as some kind of racial bias or whatever. And from that point, long before Kellen Kaepernick and the NFL started taking a knee, I stopped standing for the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance and all that with all the racism. You know, I I learned at a young age about the little racist third verse in the national anthem and all that stuff. A lot of that stuff showing that this was wasn't written for me. So uh, while whiny ass, spoiled ass, want his own little dictator ass, Donald Trump is whining and complaining, oh, uh, the, not standing for the national anthem is disrespecting our country. No, you're disrespecting our country. You know, you're, if this is a free country and we have these con constitutional rights, you trying to force this on people and persuade the NFL owners and all this stuff to make these people stand for the national anthem and all that stuff, that's your disrespect to the country. That's your disrespect to the Constitution. Now, if if you feel that it doesn't apply to us, because yes, when the Constitution was written, uh, black people... Uh, black people were considered property. Black people were slaves. So if if you want to be like, well, that doesn't apply to you because black people were owned by white people back then, go ahead and say it. Go, you know, let's go ahead and keep it real. Go ahead, and, nigger. The Constitution don't apply to you. Go ahead and say it. If that's how you feel. Just be real about it, but don't bullshit and talk all this respect for the flag and respect for the national anthem and the country and all that bullshit or whatever. Because for one, Donald Trump, you are a disrespect to the country. You know, let's keep it real on that. But as far as, you know, I hear people saying, uh, well, you can't protest at work. Uh, you know, yeah, well, no, you know, uh, if, if I... I, I wouldn't go to, if I worked at a factory or worked at an office, go there uh, with picket signs saying no to police brutality and all that stuff or whatever. But if, if okay, I'm working in a factory or I'm working in an office or wherever I'm working and they have some sort of assembly where they have the national anthem or the pledge of allegiance to the flag, I don't have to. I don't have to stand for it. And if they fire me because I didn't stand for it, they got a hell of a lawsuit on their hands. You know, that's the constitutional right, the free speech, freedom of protest, freedom of oppression, or just being this so-called free country. You know, now, like I said, if you don't feel that that applies to us as black people, then... Go ahead and say it and keep it, you know, go ahead and say it and keep it real. But all this, oh, this is disrespecting the flag and disrespecting our country and all this shit. And, and Donald Trump with his spoiled, whiny, pouty, childish ass, you know, thinking that this is his own little, now that he's got, has control of the free world. <sighs> you know, 
Wow. But anyway, you know, we got some pouty, whiny, childish, bitch-ass president. But, you know, if that's, that's how you feel, just say it. But as far as all this trying to not allow people to express themselves, nah, man, that goes against what you call the country and the Constitution. So, nah, it don't work like that.